but but can I tell you, we know we know how to act. We know how to put on a facade. We know how to how to put my best foot forward. And when trouble when trouble come, when trouble come, it's not how I act, but it's how I react. It's how I respond to trouble. And here, there's a couple of ways you can respond to trouble. When trouble hits your house, when trouble hits your life, here the first thing you can do is you can flee. You can flee. You can flee. A lot, a lot of people who are in an unhealthy state in their walk with God, they flee. They flee. They run. Uh, I, I preached a message some years ago entitled Fugitive from Growth. Fugitive from growth, meaning meaning when God tries to grow us up, instead of me doing the hard work of him growing me up, I would rather run. And we run from relationship to relationship because I refuse to grow. We run, and but we run from job to job because I refuse to grow. You've had six supervisors, and all six of them don't like you. All your co-workers hating on you, and you've been working there for 25 years. You mean tell me from 25 years, every co-worker you've ever had all of them hating on you no there's a common denominator somewhere I wish Mike would say because Mike would tell you you need to look at the man in the mirror come on here somebody here what we do we flee we run we run from relationship to relationship from job to job and even from church to church because we do not want to grow somebody hurt me somebody offend me they said something I didn't like and we flee but no in order for me not to in order for me to grow in order for me to develop I can't run the rest of my life but no I must be I must be steadfast I must be unmovable and I must allow God to work in me and to flow through me in my life the second thing that we do uh, we we fight not only do we flee but we fight we we put up resistance we we, we fight we, we put up resistance we we don't we don't want to change because our comfort zone and our comfort level really has us comfortable that's why it's called a comfort zone and I, I know that was a heavy revelation but can I tell you it's called a comfort zone because we're comfortable and when I don't want to come out of my comfort zone when I don't want God to stretch me when I don't want God to develop me I begin to resist I begin begin to fight and I'll say the word is for everybody else but the word is not for me and we'll push off the word and we'll say it doesn't apply to me or it doesn't it doesn't hit my house or hit my situation because I don't want to grow but then lastly whenever there is a trouble opposition persecution and pain hit my life if I don't flee if I don't fight the third thing I do I say, is I hide I hide I hide I hide I hide I hide that's that's what that's what Adam and Eve did <laughs> When they sinned, when they when they did something that that was not according to the plan of God, what did they do? They they hid from Him. Instead of them running to Him, they hid from Him. Instead, Adam, the Lord walked through the cool of the God, walked through the God in the cool of the day. He said, "Adam, Adam, where are you?" God was always where He was, but Adam was not where He was supposed to be. That's why it always baffles me when people leave the church. It always baffles me when people get the missing. They say. Where were you? We're always where we've been at the whole time. You left from your spot. You left. Come on, y'all, go help me here. Can I tell you that that is what goes on? We flee, we run. And my point is this: that where Adam did not meet the Lord in the cool of the day, it wasn't God's fault. But no, it was Adam's fault from getting out of position. Oh my God, I feel like preaching today. There are so many of us that have missed our opportunity and missed what it is that God desires to do in our life because we miss, we mismanage our moment and we did not get into the presence of God. Oh, I want to talk to you as a parent. My children, when my children mess up, I don't want them to try to fix it themselves. I don't want them to try to cover it up and hide it. But no, I want them to come to me and say, Daddy, I can't do this. Daddy, I messed up. I should have came to you in the first place. I should have talked to you in the first place. I should not have lied to you. I should have just told you the truth from the very beginning. But Daddy, can you help me? I bit off a little bit too much that I can chew. I wish we would act like we want our children to be. When be good spirit your children and come to our father and say Abba father daddy daddy I come to you I bit off a little bit too much and I can chew I shouldn't have said that I shouldn't have went there I shouldn't have done that but God I come to you right now and I ask you to help me and to forgive me